Hello, and welcome to today's recording of Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, today we're going to do sequences 10 and 11, and it, we are on our 72nd day of our 100-day marathon towards Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, we're going to talk about a few people, notably King Louis uh, and Louis Michael uh, Le Pelletier. But the first thing I want to talk about today is I want to catch up on the story. So we're some random no-name guy basically playing a helix game which is a, basically a, a console to, by abstergo reliving the life of arno victor dorian in revolutionary france whoa whoa <laughs> well all right all right um, so, Shay, the, our character from the last game, Assassin's Creed Rogue, killed Arno's dad. And then he was taken in by Francois de la Serre, who we found out was the Grand Templar, Grand Master of the Templar Order in Paris. Alright, well... Arno never trained to be an assassin or a Templar, and then he did not relay a letter to Mr. De La Serre, and that would end up leading to his death. He would be framed for it and thrown in the Bastille, and where he would eventually become an assassin. He hunts some Templars for a while until the death of the Parisian assassin mentor uh, Maribel. I saw Madame was with Monsieur Prisier last night. Did you indeed? Is there a letter? Doing what, I wonder? Couldn't say. They were out by the back wall around midnight. It's all quiet like. Monsieur seemed upset, kept talking about nunneries and how there wouldn't be any more to him. Hmm. Um. So he'd end up becoming an assassin. And he seemed to be fine doing assassin -y things. Anything else? He now has no face. Um. So where were we? Oh yes, the death of Maribel, which would force him to kill his direct uh, mentor, uh, Pierre Bellic. And this all came about because the, the lady he's loved since he was a kid, Elise de la Serre, showed back up and is essentially knows that she's a Templar and just knows that he's an assassin. And it goes from Arno goes from a guy who just wants to apparently just wants uh, assassin help to figure out how to. Oh, let me kill these guys at all. Um, to find De La Serre's murderers. To falling in love with Elise again, and then never essentially just using the assassins to help her and him find who's going on. It's at this point, after Maribo's death, that the assassin order says, yeah, nah, you're done. Um, you're too close to this, other people will handle it. So while clearing up Maribo's papers of, for his uh, conversations with the king, he goes back down a spiraling time to try to help Elise. And it led to last night's balloon ride and what seems to be something very, very bad.
so uh Louis Michael Le Pierre. Now he was mentioned at the end in uh, Marie Leveste's uh, vision last night. So let's just go ahead and start talking about him now and who he was. He was the Marquis of uh, Saint Ferragou. Ferragou? Ferragou. Or it's possibly Ferragou. Um, he was born May 29th, 1760. And he would start his political career by being a lawyer in the employ of the Palace de Chalet. Uh, here, he would uh, eventually rise to be the Advocate General in 1785. Um, in 1789, uh, he'd be elected to Parliament, uh, the Parliament of Paris becoming Deputy of the Noblesse uh, to the States General. Talk a little bit more after. Actually, no, with the loading screen, we need to talk a little bit more. Uh, he would gain popularity for his uh, stance, uh, his views on the abolition of the death penalty and the galleys and branding to substitute beheading for hanging. Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention for Le Pelletier. He might have some insight. Ah, uh, which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into the debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius. No force in heaven <laughs> or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis, he went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence... To sad. Mm -hmm. Le Pelletier? Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. <laughs> so he'd gain popularity for his views on ab uh, abolishing the death penalty, like he just said. Uh, and the galleys and branding and a substitute beheading for hanging. June 21st in uh, 1790, he'd be, met, be president of the Constituent Assembly, a position he would remain until July 5th. There is a unique kill on this one. Oh, I remember what it is. I think. I thought I remember what it is. I could be wrong. I don't see any brutes. Are they? What are they doing? All right. Hey, 
Nice guy. So in 17, 18, mm, that's not right, 1791, hit a lot of zeros where I was supposed to be hitting ones, man, or nines. He'd be elected president of the uh, general council for the Yaume department, uh, and then his department uh, would he'd end up being elected to the deputy of the national convention. Uh, it was here he'd be in favor of the trial of Louis uh, XVI, uh, and would be the deciding vote against the king. On January twentieth, seventeen ninety-three. Uh, he would be assassinated in a restaurant on the Pelier Royal uh, by Philippe uh, Nicolas Mayer de Paris. Uh, the con um, convention would honor him by displaying his body in the Palace Vendrome beneath the statue of King Louis XVI, uh, and then a burial in the Pantheon in 1793. Uh, though his family would have his body removed on February 14, uh, 1795. At the time of his death, he was 32. Uh, we will actually talk about the King Louis, but let's uh, get through this assassination first. <laughs> that should uh, keep them busy for a hot second. Well, this might take a minute. gonna make it matter. That's funny. Sell it for sore nipples. Ought to call the gendarme. I'll have it taken away as soon as the cart returns. Poisoned wine. What's next? Infected bread? Don't run off! Forgive me. I'm a good guy! Good at smashing, ripping, tearing, and the odd amputation! All right. I need a berserker. Man, these guys are crazy, aren't they? Maybe I can get in here without. Oh boy. Oh, 
up, Arno. Take it. So the king must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. But only then, when he's executed like a common villain, can we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what true is you like, Grandmaster. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Bellevier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution. The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of the tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Where's a window? Thank you. Excuse me. Off the lamp post, Arno. Jeez Louise. Excuse me, excuse me. Try to get see if I can upgrade, uh, get different outfits and weapons. I am getting, I am to the point to where I can't handle the, uh, difficulty spike. I don't have 165,000 francs. I think we're going to take health over stealth. but I don't have enough cash to buy it. That's great. Here too. Can equip that one's good cool don't have enough to upgrade it i'm not gonna hack it but let's double check make sure i didn't miss anything because a few new things did show up See this one. Definitely taking the Phantom Hood. 
Absolutely. Uh, weapons. You girl of sugar. Really not much I can do. How oh, are rifles non lethal? Sorry, you get it with one of these. You're done ski. All right. Let's move on. That's better, but not as far as good as I wanted to be. As far good. It's not as great as I wanted. Alright, let's talk about King Louis XVI of France. Uh, he was actually born Louis Auguste. Uh, well, it's probably more like Louis Augusta. Or, um, it's definitely not Louis August. But he was born on August 23rd, uh, 1754. I don't know what's going on in here, but I'm going to pickpocket you after you fall. Uh, he'd be raised uh, to the heir apparent of Louis XV uh, at the death of his father, uh, Louis Dauphin of France, uh, when he died on December 20th, 1765. Uh, when his grandfather died on May 10th, 1774. Um, Louis would assume the title of King of France and the Navarre. At least I think that's right. Could be the Navarre. Uh, would he, where he would, this would be what he would call himself until September 4th, 1791. That is when he would receive the title of the King of the French. Uh, during the first part of his reign, um, he would make efforts to abolish serfdom, remove land taxes, and, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not right. He would try to remove land taxes for non-nobles, uh, and he wanted to increase the tolerance towards non-Catholics. Unfortunately, um, each reform the nobles would react with hostility and successfully oppose um, these implementations I got a mission item hey let me help bye bye I definitely need to buy more spoke bombs. I'm not going to get there before this starts, so. So, he would end up implementing the degradation of the grain market, or I'm sorry, not degradation, the deregulation of uh, the grain market. Um, what this would end up doing is causing the price of grain and bread to skyrocket. 
Uh, this was all on the advice of his minister, Turgo. Uh, when a When harvests were poor, um, it would lead to food scarcity, which would result in the. Are you sure Jama will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. King Louis. Bring forth the condemned. Um, so the food scarcity would end up resulting in what was called the Flower War, which were essentially riots from May to April to May 1775. Uh, after backing North America in or the North American colonies with for, um, during the American Revolution. assumed he was going to be over there. Uh, nope. Alright, so I'll stay in here. Um, why did you leave? Bye-bye. Hi, guys. In the hole, Arno. Until they uh, are done with us, we're gonna give it a few moments. Hopefully, they'll just disappear, just go away. So, after he backed the North American colonists in the American War of Independence, his regime would be left in debt and in a financial crisis. Uh, this would lead to the convening of the Estates General in 1789. Uh, after the storming of the Bastille and other riots within Paris, uh, Louis would be forced to recognize the, st uh, the legislative authority of the National Assembly. Um, no, that's not where I want to go. That was supposed to be a double. All right, hopefully these guys have something I can use. Um, his indecisiveness and his uh, conservatism led some people to view him as a symbol of the perceived tyranny of what was called the ancient regime. Uh, no, they didn't. Uh, after failed attempts to flee Paris um, to Varanes, um, Vern, Vernes, in uh, June of 1791, um, I should be able to see. Like straight there, you are.
So, how do I get up there? Seems to me being down here is pretty pointless. He's got so many guards around him, it's not even funny. And I don't have any more. Off the fence, Arno. Just kill me. Because there's no way I can take all of you guys. Thank you. So after that he failed to flee in 1791, it seemed to justify rumors that the king uh, was hoping for political salvation um, with the prospects of foreign invasion. Uh, this would lead to the credibility of the king being undermined, which itself would lead to the abolition. Um, the abolition of the monarchy and the establishment of a republic. I know he's over there. All right, you too. Thank you. Die. Man. We're going to 
loot all these guys in hopes they got something. So while trying to save the monarchy, he would abolish the death penalty for deserters and um, the labor tax. On August 10th, 1792, he'd be arrested and one month later, uh, the monarchy would be abolished. The time, uh, he'd be referred to as Citizen Louis Capet. Uh, the National Convention would find him guilty of high treason, high treason, and he would be executed by guillotine on January first, uh, January twenty-first, um, seventeen. That's not right. It's seventeen ninety-three. I wrote it down as seventeen thirty-nine. Feel stupid. Um, so uh, when he was. Uh, it's not an assassination. When he died, he was essentially a desacralized citizen. Um, not anywhere near what he would have been used to. No, come on. Uh, he'd be the only king of France to be executed. This is going to go bad. Pistols, apparently. <laughs> oh, I hope that works. Let's hope I can find something in these guys. So, not only was he the only king, French king to be executed, uh, his death would bring an end to more of a, more than a thousand years of a continuous French monarchy. He would be 38 at the time of his death. Alright, so let's see if we can actually get through his death without dying. At least the ammunition's full again. There you are. Monsieur de la Serre. I tried to make him see. But the order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge. No, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Je meurs innocent. Monsieur, je suis innocent de tout ce dont on m'accuse. Je souhaite que mon sang puisse cimenter le bonheur des Français. Kings, merely symbol. Soon we can inspire fear. And fear can inspire control. But men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. 
and the clown church are ground to dust. We who control the gold will decide the future. Is it Vanger? I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Man, I didn't realize that was. Go! Quite an entrance. What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. Sun grenades. Question she does. So we got away. She doesn't run that quick. to end his life and you refuse to take it to save your life it isn't yours to save what are you saying i'm willing to risk everything to put jama down if you don't have the stomach for revenge then i don't need your help elise elise wah, wah. So we do have one more topic today, but we're going to wait until we get into the next sequence before we start talking about it. And what it is, is the city of Versailles. Can I fast travel? Report to the council. That's dangerous. That's going to be very dangerous. I 
And the only way, since we've essentially bought everything, uh, the only way to raise the income would be to do the missions for um, the cafe and for the social clubs. But I don't, as much as we need money, we don't need that much money. Or we don't need money that poor, that bad. We're almost to the end anyway. He called me citizen. That's not good. Hello, honor. What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen. Yes, but listen. Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideals or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly, pursued targets without sanction, and flouted our creed at every step. Master Trenet? In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Master Bellier? Agreed. What are you... Master Kimar? Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. You cannot be serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him. The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. Brasserie Garceau. Was that last night? enough trouble for one night. Fine. I'll procure my wine in some other fashion. <laughs> so, the thing that we're going to talk about that didn't go well is the city, actually. Ouch. <laughs> Come on, come on! After him! Just stand and fight! 
is this town? Um, it is uh, a city. This is the city of Versailles. That is in the um, Ile de France region of France. Uh, the name first appears in, in a medieval document dated 1038. And by the 11th century, uh, the village uh, curled around a medieval castle in the St. Julian Church. By the end of the Hundred Years' War, uh, the village would have a population of 100 people uh, after the toll of the Black Death and the war itself. Open this up, see what's in here. Not a lot, but enough. Man. Thank you. Let's try this again. In 1622, uh, King Louis XII uh, would buy a parcel of forest for his private hunting, and in 1624, uh, he would entrust Philbert Leroy uh, to construct a small hunting lodge of red bricks and stone with a slate roof. Oh my goodness. does not do any damage and here they all come to shoot me holy crap there's like four of them with four star health that's not death that's a shock Excuse me. No. Um, in 1632, the king would purchase the totality of the land and the seigneury of Versailles from Jean Frechois, Jean, Jean Frechois, Francois de Gandé, Gandhi, Gandhi. Uh, and would enlarge his hunting lodge to a size of a small chateau uh, between 1632 and 1634. Hmm. Eagle Vision does not do well with a hangover, apparently. stairs I hope it's just you because I don't think I can kill anybody more than just you oh I don't have any lockpick skill 
Please tell me I don't have to lock pick. Hello. Oh, that's not good. Come on. <sighs> so after he um, transformed it into more than a hunting lodge, um, he bought the land and the whole totality of the area and he would um, transform the small chateau into a castle I'm tired of this I'm running all the way around outside of this area so if they can leave me alone Over Arno, or just stand there and get. Just... So after he transformed his castle and area to accommodate the court, uh, May 6th, 1682, the seat of government would be transferred to Versailles from Paris. Um, at the time of Louis XIV in 1715, I just want to die again, apparently. So in 1715, it had roughly 30,000 people. Uh, the Treaty of Paris that ended the American Revolution was actually signed in uh, this town in 1783. By 1789, it was one of the top 10 uh, largest cities in France. Uh, the Estates General uh, would meet in Versailles on May 5th, 1789, uh, and eventually in October of the same year, a crowd of women uh, and some members of the National Guard would invade the castle um, to protest the bread prices and um, essentially force the royal family to move back to Paris. He doesn't have a pistol. That's awesome. Yourself, 
explain to me why he, this is the way it is. Let me get out of cover. I guess we'll just hide here. Um, shortly after the National Constituent Assembly followed the king to Paris, causing Versailles to lose its role as the French capital. Uh, in 1837, uh, the castle would be transformed into a national museum dedicated to all the glories of France. On January 18th, 1871, uh, after the Franco-Prussian War, uh, Wilhelm I was proclaimed the Emperor of Germany in the Hall of Mirrors inside the palace at Versailles. The treaties that ended World War I would be signed in the castle proper and in the Grand Trianon. Maybe I left it there. Uh, after 1919, uh, as Paris was expanding, uh, Versailles would be absorbed into the urban area that um, would experience a strong demographic and economic um, growth. Strong demographic and economic growth, turning it into a large suburban city. Uh, that it was actually now in the metropolitan area of France or in France wow in the metropolitan area of Paris uh, the chateau and its gardens were designated uh, UNESC um, UNICO uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 17 in 1979. Not you again. Didn't do enough damage last night. No, I, I just... My father's watch. Have you seen it? I see nothing. Might want to ask one of the four men you picked a fight with. Idiot. You don't want to do that, boy. Piss off, old man. So they just like weapons in the bar. You should not be able to slide 15 feet like that. You. Uh, where's your boss? Oh, shit. No. Get back here. Down?
Where? The palace! The Red of Palace! Thank you. <clears throat> See if I can get two poisons. But as you can see, the revolution, they've looted the Palace of Versailles, like horribly. I guess I should have done that differently. Smoke bombs. That was the wrong button. It's only one. I should be able to take one. I can take one, apparently. Just can't take four. Because four is a bad number, apparently. You know, you guys got poison bombs? That would be helpful. Nothing strange here. Oh yeah, that's worked well. So I'm getting medicine though. The ghost of Elise. That's from the beginning of the game. <laughs> That's gross. Don't want to think about that. Oh. 
Hello. Blood splatter is actually a pretty good technique, even though it's light. I like how they use the lighting, especially in this mission, to signify his hangover. I know the poison bombs are expensive, so no, this isn't gonna go well. Not at all. Luckily, I have some smoke bombs. Smash that attack button, boy! Apparently, to get his watch back, it's 35 people between me and it. I don't know if the watch is worth it, Arno. I know it's the only thing you got from your dad, but come on, man. Actually, I am holding off. I want... Be able to. Why did they cut off his mouth? It's pretty weird. Fiat, is that me? Looks like it. I love, I love that assassination. Sliding through and just leg trip, and then out they go. I love it. Weapon I thought I had. Can I just leave? Oh no, I have to steal. I have to pluck his body. Come on. Bombs are the easiest way to get anywhere. Alright. Well, let's loot people.
site of both the deaths that he was trying to revenge. Oh no. You look like hell. You look like you want something from me. That's a fine thing to say after you up and vanished. You made it fairly clear you no longer required my services. Don't. Don't you dare talk to me like that. What do you expect me to say, Elise? Forgive me for not letting you die? I'm sorry that I care more about you than about killing Germain. I thought we wanted the same thing. What I wanted was you. I can't bear the fact that my carelessness got your father killed. Everything I've done since then has been to fix that mistake and to prevent it from happening again. You must have come here with something in mind. What was it? Paris is tearing itself apart. Germain has driven the revolution to new heights of depravity. The guillotines operate nearly around the clock now. And what do you expect me to do about it? The Arno I love wouldn't have to ask that question. You're better than this. I'm going back to Paris. Are you coming? There's one last thing I need to do. All right. I'll go see to our transportation. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. Hmm. It amuses me that they use Paris as the location for the assassin love story. into now. Shut up in there. So, this is what France has come to. Parasites bleeding the revolution dry. I don't think the music was supposed to cut out during that. That was weird. It's time for La Touche to die. Going 
Ouch. Oh boy. Yeah, well, that didn't go well. Didn't go well at all. So last time just going down there didn't go well. So I wonder if I can get over here. Cause him to go crazy if he'll start shooting people for me. No? He did. Guns rattling around like crazy. Just on. I got nothing left. Oh, yeah. Some of them. Hopefully, I don't need those. Oh, that's not good. I guess the dessert guy's dead. Come on, how can I not? Then he's hanging on the on the building. Of course he's inside the window, Arno. Thank <laughs> you. 
excuse me. Get caught, 45,000 people attack you. The game's real fair. This is by far the hardest Assassin's Creed in terms of combat. If you mess up once in your stealth, it's done. What the... le même chemin mais dans l'autre sens. Si je crie la garde arrivera sur le champ et vous amènera au citoyen Samson. No idea what he just said. Excuse me. Pardon me. That was weird. Hopefully, the key's already been... The guy with the key's already dead. 
That's what it surely looks like, anyway. Nope. He's not. He's the only one standing here for some odd reason. No, I just didn't want anyone around to see me stab you. So fall down so I can loot your body and take this key. Yeah, just tap the L button and you can go in any door or window. What's this then? I believe it's called a rescue. Why? Because being a thick-headed man-mountain while doing little enough for your long-term prospects is not actually a capital offense. Huh? Just stay back and let me go first. Next! Let's go. Don't I know you, boy? I doubt it. Oh, oh I do. Lord, I tell you, from. God, I suppose I am, aren't I? Fired? But why? Because, Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you are a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. This parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew half the shit our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Um, what would you have me do, Flag Master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Our Peltier has his uses, but he's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche, I present to you Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. Bye. to the home stretch. So, I thought they would have technically worked the kinks out for the Helix launch. And I wonder if that is the leftover from the Animus or if it just still has those downsides like the Animus does. It's a interesting concept. 
that they would release something like that and you'd still go, uh, oh, what's the term I want to use? Vegetable? Like a potato? Knows it is. Just an FYI. So gonna be loading it, pitching it after this. So much better. Oh, up. Right? No. Nope. Oh, there's a hole right there. Okay, that was not supposed to go like that. Whatever. Apparently there's a battle here at this time, but I am unaware of exactly what it was or what it is. The Bastille, of course, was built as a, a fortress. But... Yeah. That guy gets hit with a rock, I think. Yeah, well, I'd rather not get hit with a rock. That would be bad. Oh boy. There it is, there's the Bastille. But they're also shooting fl flaming rocks from mortars. Not from mortars, trebuchets. Come on, run, Arno. Though you are not really Arno right now, you're just an avatar. That hurt. That one hurt more. Medicine. Yeah, working on it. Yay. Things have changed a great deal since you left Paris. A great deal to be set right. 
You were no closer to finding Jean Mo. That's not entirely true. I have a name. Who? Robespierre. That is the end of sequences 10 and 11. Um, Arno hit a low, but seems he got dragged out of it by Elise. Uh, tomorrow we will be finishing the main game, and then it's on to uh, the Dead Kings expansion. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, my deaths as much as I disliked them. But if you like the content that I have been bringing to you, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my social media and website links in the description below. And until next time, have a great night.